Hello, Cloud. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I hear you lost many colonists in your RimWorld game session. Be not alarmed. For I am here. So what are we doing on this stream today? I don't know. I actually have no idea. Obviously there's gold saucer stuff to attend to. But if I do that, it locks me in. But there's stuff that I can do later. So I'm just going to do maybe some card stuff. Side quests. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing some Tifa side quests. Specifically. For no specific reason, though. I have not done very much of Gungaga at all. Man, speaking of an awesome baseline. Still have Odin to deal with. Um, Bahamut. Chat, where, where's Bahamut? Is Bahamut here in Gungaga or is Nibelheim? Wait, Nibelheim is Odin. Odin, oh, oh, Bahamut is Cosmo Canyon. Maybe we'll do Cosmo Canyon then. Let's do Bahamut. Let's do some card stuff. And then, um... So if I start a story thing, I get locked into it pretty... For a while. Pretty much for a while. Yeah. All right, so again, goal is Bahamut. Um how much Bahamuting must must we do? I got confused here last time, too, and I actually just left. So, yeah, I mean... I don't want the game to be over because there's so much I love about it, but at the same time, I feel like it's, it's also... It's, it's time. It's getting... It's getting kind of... much. As you've heard me say a bunch. Wait, how do I do this? It's time for reunion. It might be. Oh, hold R2, right. Game is still set to RimWorld. Fuck. Mods can't change that, right? I did this already. Yeah, this whole Cosmo Canyon area is a little daunting, so I've been I've been hesitant to even continue playing it. There's a setting you can enable. I think I think some of my mods have that setting. Gungaga is more weird to traverse. Yeah, I don't know about Gungaga. Everyone always says, you know Gungaga, but the answer is, I don't.
Could really use a shower. Stink cloud? The stink cloud can follow. You have to be careful about stink clouds. Head to training course number one. So this is a dead end. Oh, man. Maybe this cavern? Oh yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, we already talked about those. Apparently, me even mentioning that, so many people wanted to let me know. And not even to be like assholes about it. They were just like, no, Vin, you don't understand. They love being filthy. Like you don't, it's, it's not an insult. They love, they just love stinking. Like, it's normal and fine, and you're not even offending anyone by saying that they, they're, like, stinky. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's not really true. I mean, that's the thing about this topic I've learned. Is, um... I can't get a clear answer other than they love smelling. And I don't even know if that, that's a clear answer. This isn't the area I was trying to get to either. This is just Cosmo Canyon. Oh, man. Cosmo Canyon was my favorite Seinfeld character, says a chat member. We're gonna try this again. I feel like my time would be better spent just playing cards. We'll see. Because, um... The card quest line, like, am I able to maybe finish that? It, with my current level of progress? Yes. Okay, so that, maybe we can do that today. That's a dead end. Fiddle going mental. Chocobo, choco, 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 bo. I'm on a choco, bo. You're on a choco, bo. So that's going to be happening a lot. Cloud, do you like Yuffie singing? I programmed her like- I mean... That's real funny that she does that, isn't it? Every time. Spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. First, look for a weathered old ship, then scour the surrounding area. 
I trust you'll have no trouble finding this distinctive landmark. Cloud, have you been talking shit about my girlfriend? Uh, who's your girlfriend, Chadley? Yuffie! What? It may be surprising, Cloud, but one day she will be mine. I'm already planning on taking her to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Chadley, how old are you? I'm two years old, Cloud. It's true, he was created by Hojo. So it's, it's probably something like that. I, I don't... I don't really like this gliding stuff very much. Hojo also created Genshin Impact. Yeah, I knew he had something to do with that. It would be so beautiful if I could just find Bahamut and fight him. This is... Oh, God. All right. We can't get up here easily. So, yeah. My, uh, my plan for tonight is this, Bahamut, cards, and then over the weekend, if I have time... I'm going to try to do a pre-record of more side quests. I may not do that. And then next week, I'll just do the rest of the gold saucer shit. Chocobo. Quick, before Yuffie starts singing.
She's gonna sing until you do the chocobo quest. I know, I, I, I remember. So we're, we're looking for... I mean, I know where it is. Just how the fuck do we get there? Maybe it's just there. If we're lucky, it'll just be there. It, I think it- yeah, we're lucky. That's good. I didn't want to have to do any, like, gliding puzzles. I didn't even mean to skip that. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip it, but goodbye. That's weird that Wesley Crusher and Chadley, Wesley Crushy, Cr <laughs> Wesley, Chadley. It's interesting. Thanks to you, Cloud, I was able to successfully extract data on the deity. How many more of those? So we got that one. We got that one. So I think there's like, yeah, there's one more. This way. Maybe. It's actually a really ingenious way to get the player to do that quest. I'm fairly impressed that the game was able to figure out how to get you to do the side quest. You say ingenious, I say insidious. Incidenious, right? That's what an English major can bring to the table. I'm a useful human. This, this planet is far poorer without the likes of, of, of me. I really, uh, you know, my whole goal in life was to draw penises in my notebook and invent words. And now I get to do so for a living. It 
it's amazing how many things I can't consciously recall from school. Obviously, I've, I've learned how to speak language. And I've done some math and I remember some history. But a lot of what I learned in school just kind of went into, like, this garbage folder in my brain. The thing with so I, my memory's already shit, but the thing about my knowledge, like, the way I've retained and the way I've learned stuff is that... You know, like, Nixon, right? President Nixon. I don't know... Ver I mean, I think he's an interesting historical figure. So, I mean, someone like him, I might be a little bit more... Um... Inclined to know stuff about, but... I learned all kinds of shit about Nixon. I remember almost none of it. However, if I watched a documentary about Nixon, perhaps I would be like, Oh, right. I am aware of that fact. But the only presidential fact that I retain, really, is that Lyndon Johnson called his his penis a jumbo. That's all I got. I don't... I don't know. So anyway, um... The founders of the canyon's eponymous village made use of the naturally formed caves, and following the emergence of planetology, more and more people found themselves drawn to the place. The makeshift walkways and tent-like domiciles have only increased in number as the settlement continues to expand to this day. Rather than rely on Mako, the villagers built an array of windmills, and each home is equipped to store the generated electricity. A leading planetologist, Buchenhagen, introduced this form of wind power to Cosmo Canyon. It is said his technical marvel was inspired by the ways of the Cetra. When it comes to nutrition, the villagers' diet consists mainly of ass and legumes grown around the village, supplemented by game meat obtained by with traditional hunting methods. I just like to make sure people are awake. You know, like, I find it to be a compliment when people fall asleep to my streams. But, you know, I gotta make sure we- I- I- if you're gonna be here, I gotta do at least that I might best to keep you awake. Boy, I sure wish those controls were reversed. Cause that is screwing me up. Well, I, I mean, the way- the reason I see it as a compliment is that you're comfortable enough with what I do, with my voice, to enjoy it. And not just, like, you know, have- like, I don't need to be an active participant in your life. I'm just happy to kind of be a background character or cameo. Like, I'm- I'm good with that. That may also be some form of whatever it is. I I don't know. That 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 probably speaks about uh, to my personality type. No, no. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm very happy that people want to watch. However, they watch. That's all that matters. But like, it was the whole. Um, there's also the Garbage Land thing. Like, people were like, Vinny, what if Garbage Land is your most listened to song? It's like, well, that's not what we sound like, but I still, at the end of the day, made that song. And if it became, like, a popular song, and people enjoyed it, and that led them to check out, like, you know, Visions and Afterthoughts or Another Light, that would be fantastic. Memes get views, the unfortunate truth. Well, you can onboard people with memes, I think, and then, you know, hopefully show some substance afterwards. Because, I mean, memes are nice, but my view of it is, is, like, memes are good for a quick laugh. They become part of our cultural kind of, like, underpinnings. And, like, um, I'll give you an example. At MAGFests, you know, Siva Gunner and, like, a dude was dressed as Granddad and, like, people were, like, shouting memes and stuff. It's fun. But if you want to retain people, you have to have some substance. Upon analyzing the data from the 
life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. It's buried in some nearby mountain ruins. Currently, but we suspect they were built by the ancients. Perhaps you could conduct an investigation of your own while looking for the transmuter chip. But you could also just be a meme machine, too. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I like creating new memes like McDanouge, which is my current favorite stupid forced meme. But whatever, listen, whatever floats your boat. But the way I, I say um, with my music, I'm trying my best to earn the attention people give me with some, I don't know, something a little bit more than just, um, I feel weird about people wanting to meet me in line at a convention and all they do is listen to me talk. Like that's cool, I guess, but I don't know. I want to kind of earn my place in this world a little bit more, so I'm, I'm trying my best to do that. And I would have done that, truthfully, had I not even um, ever streamed. I think I probably would have made music to like 10 people. However, it is nice to stumble upon something like that Doom sex thing, where people are like, what is this? This is funny. Who is this guy? I don't know, I like, I like whatever. Stop! I don't like that! I like whatever, whatever level of participation people want to spend on my streams or my music, whether it be some, none, well, preferably not none. Nuns are boring. This tower was a motherfucker to get to, so I think this one's gonna have the final Bahamut. Very insightful, Kate. <laughs> Who's singing is worse, Yuffie or Barrett? I don't mind either. It's just because Yuffie keeps singing. That's the real problem. It just keeps happening. Doesn't Barrett just do. Da, 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 da. Doesn't he just do that? Oh, he'll do the Chocobo theme, too? <coughs> Alright, chat, who's worse, Yuffie or Grey Leno? And if you answer... If you answer Yuffie, then you're... Something is wrong with you. Speaking of talk show hosts, did anyone see Conan on Hot Ones? Rejuvenated, the Crimson Worm gave forth a mighty roar. Thus was the very land rent in twain, and the canyon born. Truly a tale befitting a god of destruction, don't you think? So I didn't see all of it. I'm watching... I was watching it, and then I had to do some other things, like drive. So I was like, I'm gonna put this on ice for a bit. But I saw clips of him actually, like, chugging some of the hottest hot sauce. And just acting insane and eating all the wings and putting wings in his pocket. 
He turned into a goblin. That's, yeah, it sounds about right for Conan. And he's like, he was saying in the beginning of the video that, like, there was no spice in his house. He grew up in a house, they just made, like, the most bland food. So he was not a spicy food kind of person. Gotta do that if you want to fight Bahamasi. Chadley. I'm ready for you too, Cloud. What? Welcome to Gongo Cavern. I mean, Cosmo Canyon. You saw that broadcast from Wu Tai. It goes without saying that tensions are running high. I'm keeping a close watch on Shinra's activities, but it is unclear how the company will respond. We must proceed with care. What do you who's this we? It's amazing how I, I tried to fight Odin. And uh, that went horrendously. Even with the um, all the, the places that I found to weaken Odin. Muhammad Arisen looks pretty cool. Oh my god. Scattered particles will attach themselves to you if touched and explode after a certain amount of time. Use synergy skills or synergy abilities to pressure Muhammad Arisen. Remove any attached particles and eliminate any others floating around. How do I remove the particles? I think I understand what the game is asking of me, but I, uh, uh, let's see if I can do it. Shit. Bring it to heat. 
Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of those fucking things. I guess that. I guess, yes, yeah, it said synergies, but I, I couldn't... The, what I'm trying to say is I couldn't focus on them. We got synergy abilities, okay. Ooh. That's not good, that's not good. Kuraga. Forever. You're up. Someone said, "What a JRPG boss." Well, yeah, I, w I would agree with that. Son! Save us, Barret. Okay. I got this, chat. I got this. Stagger. Yes. Alexander, use the thing. I want to save the United Refocus. Want to cast regen on Cloud? Yes, bomb at this. I mean, Alexander, this is it, Luigi. See you soon. Amazing. That was awesome.
Now do Odin. I really don't want to. Bahamut Arisen has fallen. Well done. I had no idea the God of Destruction could evolve further, but I now suspect it could surpass even these limits. With this crimson terror at your command, I almost pity anyone who is foolish enough to try and stand in your way. Synergy Materia allows ally to follow leader's attack command with an attack from linked materia. Poison and petrify, that seems good. Jump! Oh, that's like a dragoon skill. Synergy is just a free spell. Skillmaster and Synergy are so great. Yeah, I mean, doing, like, your Materia organizing way, in and of uh, itself is, like, what? Have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto-relic I mentioned before? Why do you Maybe sound not. like that? Why well, he sounds... That's the problem. Even if you kind of like Chadley, he just sounds like, like he's always, like, shitty. So, someone said Magnify plus Heal would be good, and I actually agree with that. Biathan, let's see who we have here. Phoenix, that, that's good. Yuffie's missing some materia. Yuffie has, um, Ramu. We'll keep that as is. Red 13 has Ifrit, which is fine. Cat shit. Chocobo and Moogle. Uh, Barrett. Yeah, Barrett is gonna get Bahamut. Good stat boost, um, in some ways. And Cat Shit can get, I don't know, Titan. Where are them cards, chat? No, seriously, I I don't know where I'm at with cards. I don't have that many card battles left. Are they in uh, here? Costa del Sol. Vinny, it's on the map. Well, we already did these. Robot in Corel Prison. Look at world map and it will show outstanding. Outstanding card challenges. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wise 3.0. Chat, I'm gonna fucking destroy this robot. I am so confident I'm going to destroy this robot that I feel like if you bet against me, that would be very foolish. Hello, Cloud. And hello, Cloud. We meet again. Wow, said by a robot this time. You're in the wrong game. Go back to Steam World Dig. You may now refer to me as Wise 3.0 version 2.0. I was hoping to assess my current capabilities after my recent update. An opponent of your skill level should be sufficient for this test. 
Will your streak of having trouble with non-human QB players continue? That is, uh, that's a slight worry. But I've had a good winning streak. The past several Queen's Blood, I've, like, dominated. We're already off to a fucking brilliant start. I mean, a dog got me cry- are you saying Crybaby Ned was non-human? See. See. We are we are acting the fool now, huh? Thank you for my life, Space Ranger. I'm gonna say, put that scunion away. I don't know what to do with that. have to hope for the best. Saucer squad. Yep. Ooh. Do I want to go for the middle? need to win one of the other lanes. Um, well, we can do bottom lane. That, that shouldn't be a problem. I do want to buff my cards here, because that would, that would be tremendously helpful. Just wondering if the buff would be more or less beneficial. I think I'm gonna just keep it chill, my dogs. not chill. My dogs, that is not chill. My dogs. Okay. I think we're slightly getting to the point where I need some new... I may, I may need some new cards. I have new cards, I just- I need to, like, take a look at my deck. There's a little mushroom fella, kind of like him. 
continue deck building. Let's see. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Scunion. What's your special? When destroyed, add Heatseeker Minion. Oh, that has to be destroyed. We got a frog. First time this card is enhanced, raise the power of allied cards by three. Lower power of enemy cards affect the tiles by four. This is like, it's, it's getting like detailed. May maybe a little bit more than I would like. Posh Chocobo. When you win a lane, when you win the lane, receive a score bonus of three. That's kind of neat. Johnny. One played spawn hype Johnny's cards that enhance while in play in your empty positions. I'm going to get that card. Works like Shiva. I I think I like that. We have a number of cards that can destroy ally cards as well. But I'm just going to try the Johnny card for now. So we got two different cards. You can get party uh, cards for every party member at Costa del Sol as well. It's cool. I, I have this Queen Bee is cool and everything, but I, I, I find it has less utility than I would like. I don't want to destroy the Chocobo. Imagine. Just imagine if I had a card that could cover those two. Well. I don't know what to do. I could use Johnny right now, chat. I'm gonna do it! J-Squad! Remember that Nathan For You episode where Nathan was dressed as Peter Pan and he met some weird dude? He was like, J-Squad! J-Squad! I don't think I'm winning this one, chat. That Johnny card was shit. What have I done? Oh, man. Queen Bee is terrible, Sag. Yes. Yeah, Queen Bee's gotta go, I think. Queen Bee's an interesting card that could be used with some, you know, utility, but I don't really, I don't utilize it. Great.
I'm gonna get the flan card. I'm gonna try something kind of dumb and see how that works because flan is delicious and it could make my Johnny even better. Wow, I don't have an opening. Google Trio uh, Saucer Squad. Saucer Squad's pretty good. Uh, Titan will mulligan. Wait, I thought I was going to get a Mushroom Fella out of that. When destroyed, you get Mushroom Fella. There it is. Now we need a Johnny. No, we don't. We don't need Johnny. Why did I do Johnny sucks. Johnny. I think I might want to add one more card that can destroy card. Bottom lane is hopeless. Yeah, I need, like, one more destruction card, and Johnny is not as good as I thought he was. It's like a... It's like a funny meme... Funny meme card? Okay, what are we doing here? Why do you keep pumping? I almost lost. Wait a minute. Oh, no! Stop. Just stop. More of whatever the fuck this is. Shitting. I have to destroy this card. I know that. But still, I... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it 
It's too late now. Oh, hi, Mark. She will not be denied. Don't think too much. May not come out right. This is the real story of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm currently standing outside the home of Ledrell Balmon, the famed creator of Queen's Blood. Now let's hope he defeated Dracula, some say. For us. Uh, what's this smell? It's awful. Mr. Balmon? Are you home? Oh my god. I can't believe it. Mr. Balmon is dead. How long has he been in here? It must have been ages. His body is... The results of the autopsy reveals the cause of death to be starvation. Oh, like RimWorld. That's an amazing... That he had been oh, I thought his leg was bent backwards. Never mind. This actually happens in real life, though, doesn't it? It looks like the ship. The recording breaks up after that. As it so happens, Mr. Belmont was in possession of the world's one and only Shadow Blood Queen card. However, the card was not found in his home, leading to theories that the reporter who discovered the body stole it. The reporter in question subsequently went missing. I feel like this dude and Chadley were cut from the same cloth. Guess we're going to Gungaga. It was nice to hear Chadley say Gungaga. That's probably the only time I've ever liked him. I straight jorking it and Gungaga. Straight jorking and Gungaga. Man, you wouldn't believe it, J Squad. Where the fuck am I looking? How have my brain become this fry? I like that every month or so we get a new entry in the worst bits ever pile. Well, give me a couple. Remind me. Refresh my memory. Scrotum Luigi? Oh yeah, Scrotum Luigi. Strike Dorkin. Red Frog. Well, Red Frog is real. You've seen, if you watch my Brazilian Snacks video, you see I have a Red Frog puppet. Rotten Womb was pretty bad. That's why Rotten Shroom is the new best one. You know what? The person that made RottenVine.com made RottenWomb.com and just today also made RottenShroom.com because it, I thought it sounded better. And on RottenShroom.com it was like, Vinny, please, I can't keep buying domains. 
literally Dragon's Dogma yesterday. Oh, that was a pretty bad one. Poison. That there is a Cloud, fancy seeing you again. What are you doing here? Wonderwall bit no, from earlier was bad. Are you here What'd that sound like? Was it good? I'm game, I guess. Oh, come on. You doing this or what? Can you guys not clip when the VOD gets disabled? Like, you can clip now if you wanted to, yeah? You can. Alright, just wanna- okay, just curious. Is J-Man bankrupting themselves for the bit? I think it's good to bankrupt yourself for a bit. Google squad I like. I don't know if Flan is going to work out so great. I'm, I'm still not convinced about Johnny. I'm just not. Midgar Sormer seems pretty good. This fellow seems good. Griffin is very reliable. Oh, for this, yeah, I, okay. Well, I want... We need a three... Just in case. And I also, maybe we'll, we'll get uh, the Griffin here. Replace an ally and raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by the, by the replaced ally's power. <sighs> Try it. Broke my brain a little bit, but we could give it a shot. Let me get rid of Titan. Titan might have been a foolish choice, but uh, to get rid of, but who knows? Uh, decent enough start. Let's let's go with it. Threes. Hmm. I want to encroach, so I'm going to use this card to encroach. Place an ally and raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by the replaced ally's power. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that to happen. That's it's not good. Well, fuck. I feel like I've put myself in a rather peculiar situation to use cool words. I don't know.
Oh, you're using Titan? Fella. Can't really use the fella. Oh man, what a terrible, what a terrible draw. Guess we're doing that. Don't do it, motherfucker. This is going to be a loss. Couldn't really use that card to its maximum. Yeah. That was rough. The piano, before you start, always reminds me of the beginning of a Red Letter Media video. Like a half in the bag episode. That's right. Good coverage. Excellent coverage. Well, shit. This is insanity. Nice. All right, so hang on, hang on. That boosts them a little bit here, but also it's nine and six either way, but then I get a two to work with. Got this. Oh man, that's good, chat. That's good. Moogles, saved by Moogles. When you're in the wind lane, receive a score bonus of 10. 
Or when you win in the lane, I see. I did so much cards that I'm now, like, able to, um... Let me tell you a story. Once. Just steamroll the story. beauty and compassion. She loved her people. And they, in turn, loved her. But one day, a change came over the queen. In the blink of an eye, her love turned to hate, her compassion to cruelty. Fair and beauteous though she remained, her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause, her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. Wow. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Yet from the clouds, monsters filled blood as dark as shadow. And from this wicked Ikor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. They should make a Final Fantasy VII TV show. Is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. And just tell this story. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne. All right, man, I got this. You will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope, Cloud. He knows my I name. You at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. Don't this is how you act during Balatro. So oh yeah. Hey, Cloud. Do you know anything about the Shadow Blood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though, it seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Which so Joker do I need to, to play better? Is it the, the Shadow Queen or the Emerald Witch? Claude, you did a good job. However, you still have to face me. And I'd like to let you know I am currently seven sheets to the wind, Cloud. There's no better pick me up on the cotton. This must be one of Gengaga's famous mushrooms. Drink so much That's a great expression. Sh uh, seven sheets to the wind. <laughs> this is the GYC. My, my, what a trick you must have made to get here. What is the um, etymology of seven sheets to the wind? <laughs> Like, what the fuck does that mean? It, it means drunk, if I'm not mistaken, but why? It's three sheets to the wind? Oh, I made up seven? Well, seven's kind of cool, too. A ship with Come loose, now, untended enough. sails. Can't you see you're scaring the poor man? Sorry for all that. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. I'm Jijun, a farmer. I should be hard at work, but my back's forcing me to take a break for a short while. Oh, do you play Queen's Blood by chance? A game would help to pass the time? Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good, but at this rate, it's liable to put me to sleep. If all three sails are loose, the ship is out of control. Because they'll just flop around. 
It also says, what does five sheets to the wind mean? So it's apparently... Yo, it also says, where does seven sheets to the wind come from? So... I Okay, chat, I'm seeing three sheets, four sheets, five sheets, and seven sheets. That's crazy. Why so many sheets to the wind? Pray. <laughs> you probably don't need that many sheets to be fucked up. To, uh... Ultimately, lose control of your ship. Lower the power. That's a fucking tough thing. You gotta set that up. I'm gonna try something wacky. This is gonna throw off the delicate, delicate, <laughs> the delicate balance of my deck. It's pretty much the best start you could hope for. Yeah, there's even, like, sailors have, like, a shit shitometer. Like, to see how many sheets you are to the wind. Don't do it. Just nibbling on penises, this guy. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, you're doing that? Alright. How about that? How about that? Oh, I'm gonna make you fight for this one. Oh, you've got no cards! Oh, you're a little baby! Oh! Little baby man doesn't have any cards to play. Oh! Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Enhancements. I, now, I just kind of feel bad for the dude now. So that was the second to last cards, I think. Great Malboro. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards and affected tiles by six. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Most of my um, three three star cards end up being placed back 
Aren't you something? Why, you were running circles around me like one of those professional racing chocobos. So is that how all you young folk play these days? <sighs> Queen's blood sure has changed. Us old timers can't keep up anymore. Mm. But you know, that's exactly the way it should be. You're better off harnessing that energy. Well, you've still got enough to live life to the fullest. You can sit and relax to your heart's content when you get older, and your back starts giving you no say in the matter. That's why you should spend your youth getting up to all kinds of mischief. <laughs> if you ever tire I'm like halfway between the, Cloud and this dude. I'll be here with my cards. A little downtime can do a body good. Sometimes my back is a little fucked, but lately it's been pretty good. It, I say fucked, not like terrible, just just a slight pain. Sometimes um neck neck pain, but I also think that's just because of the way I sit. I'm not shrimping too much, but I'm crimping. What about your pussy? Pussy's in good shape, thanks, chat member. I just straight be jorking. So chat, where's the last Queen's Blood? <laughs> he literally told you? Oh, sorry. Join us at Cosmo Canyon. That dude told me to go to Cosmo Canyon. Yeah, there's Queen's Blood here? The golden card icon on the world map is the match count. It's possible that my brain is, is, is terrible. He has to do all the other battles first. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. That, I don't want to be there. Costa del Sol first? Do we, um... Oh, I see the cards thing now. Yeah. I, I see. There's also one in Junon, but I, I don't think you need to do every single one. You do? thought we were like almost done with cards. It looks like we got a bunch more cards. Not that I'm complaining. I really love Queen's Blood. There's a heart to find one in Tifa's shower. Okay. What? 
Listen, whatever I was using last time seems to have worked. And sorry, I'm not necessarily doing story tonight. Tonight was like a cock block of a stream. You know? Like, we, we didn't finish RimWorld. There's no story here tonight. I mean, there's story. There's Queen's Blood. There's cutscenes, it counts. That seems like a good move. That seems like, uh, bad. Midgar Stormer would go great up there. Oh, wait, that's a three. I don't know if I want to risk it. I'm trying to get up there, chat. I'm not. Too many threes, but not enough. Not enough uh, pawns. This one comes with a little fella. Vinny, congrats on 600k followers. It's 599746. Whose phone number is that? says 600k at the bottom. Hmm, not for me. Sky Jarkin! I, I can't... This is, I, Chad, I feel like I've, I've gotten dumber over the past several days. Between Jonkle playing Balatro and now Strike Jorkin, I really feel dumber. And I'm taking you with me. Yeah, all these later Queen's Blood fights are getting, like, kind of, kind of tough because you have to worry about them replacing your cards and destroying your cards. It's get, it's getting nutty. Destroying their own cards, like, a whole lot more. It's kind of nutty. So you gotta do the same thing, generally. We can enhance later. 
Let's focus on coverage. Careful, that's no ordinary diaper, baby. I'm, I'm risking, I'm taking a quick risk. It's a bad risk, I don't know if I like it. Crazy. I lost by one, wow. Oh wait, no I didn't. No I didn't. No I didn't. Oh! No! Wait. No! Yes! Still one! Still one! I don't know what's happening! No, my poor, poor baby. As much as I like to look at it, it seems you have a much stronger bond with your cards than I do. Just what do you say to them to get them to love you so much? Huh? So you let your actions speak louder than your words? I see. By the way, on a completely different subject, have you ever heard of the card, the Shadowblood Queen? Apparently there's only one. I tell you, if that's true, I hope I get the chance to see it in person someday. I bet it's the most beautiful card anyone's ever laid eyes on. Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquis. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel in the Gold Saucer from a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder. Okay, now we can go there. But you do actually have to end up doing all of them, chat. Alright. Well, I don't think we're going to be doing all of that tonight. There's a Tifa quest in Costa del Sol. It has to do with the gym guys. Oh, I don't want to do the gym guy stuff. Yes! Congratulations on your engagement! Let's have a big round of applause for the happy... But Tifa, I know. But Tifa, but also, I I already have a lot of me me and me and Tif is good. I'm telling you, we have like very high affinity for each other. We've arrived at your destination. I'm glad you came, Cloud. Oh wow! I am the Drill Balon, the person responsible for Queen's blood. And you're just at the Ghost Hotel, the tacky Ghost Hotel. See, the ranks have gone up, yeah. I'll just keep trying this deck. I'm starting to lose hope that I'm ever going to be that good at Queen's Blood. I feel like I'm okay at it.
but I think it's just going to get harder and harder. As long as I get Chocobo early, I'm, I'm happy. Play middle. Oh, yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. Out jorked. For now. Let me use the toxic rat. No, you don't. That's... That's quite good. I'll take it. Definitely want those enhancements. The creator of Queen's Blood has been defeated. Put a bionic eye in in a uh, slime girl. Forgive my subterfuge, but I was in dire need of a skilled player, and you certainly did not disappoint. You were even able to best me, which, while impressive, won't be enough. Not if you intend to hold the Shadow Blood Queen's card in your deck. That foul thing is the source of this nightmare. The very embodiment of the villain herself. Through the card, she feeds all wielder's life force, claiming their strength, that she may one day be reborn. Countless players have succumbed to this vile curse. And now one more death is all she requires to return. Cloud. Find the sorceress. She who rallied the people. She who deposed the Queen, the Emerald Witch. Her card sleeps in Nibelheim with a monster of chaos. And there it shall remain until you can defeat her wielder and prove yourself worthy of her power. Hurry, Cloud. The Queen must be stopped.
sorry, it was just me, a fake, uh, comedy ghost. Not, not a real ghost, just a comedy, <laughs> comedy ghost. Did Vinny already talk about orange juice dying today? I did. I'm not really sure what people want me to say about O.J. Simpson dying. <laughs> what am I going to contribute? I'll tell you what, I could probably contribute something. I did watch the Bronco chase. And I had no fucking idea what I was looking at. I was eight. Eight or nine, something like that. Chat, was that 93? The best way to make tracks is on 94, so then... Yeah, I was, I was eight or nine, but... I didn't know what was going on. And then, there's all these characters, like it was... I, I don't think, for chat members that weren't alive, the O.J. Simpson trial was, like, everybody's hobby for a while. Okay, Brianna, excuse me, we're shooting here. Wait, do you Everyone was talking talk? about it, there were because characters, like there were oh memes, God, there, if, you, if the glove don't fit, you must Brianna, acquit. There was that, model. there was SNL. I was really hoping to nab one of me playing Queen's Blood. You literally couldn't have come at a better time. What do you say? Help a girl out? So yeah, I mean, it was... It's still not something that I, I don't know all the details, like, I was too young to follow the details, but I remember my parents and my friend's parents would just talk about it non-stop. So that, that was really, that and also, um, <laughs> there's the Tim Meadows SNL skit where he's, he's drawing stuff on the on the screen, he's like commentating football, and he's like spelling out, I did it, very, like... <laughs> it was the most amazing thing ever. Tim Meadows was incredible. One of my, my favorite SNL cast members. He, he, he was like, in between the, the Farley era and the um, Will Ferrell era. He was good. Best 20 year cast member. Nah, he was great. He was great. And he was such a utility player, too. He could do anything. I'm gonna lose that. Alright. Yeah. However, that. That's shit. That's what that is. That's just sh plain shit. I'm just gonna hope that the enhancements um, give the Chocobo enough power to win. Just pull through, maybe. Holy shit. So 
This is what I was hoping for, chat. I do have a replacement card. That's- oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I, I think she fucked up her own chances. She outplayed herself. I think she did, yeah. Diabolic variant. Replace an ally and lower the power of allied and enemy cards and affected tiles by the replaced ally's power. Ah, uh, gross! That intense stare, that knitted brow, glistening perspiration, perfection! I've never seen you look more beautiful! And you, Mr. Card Sharp, talk about a hunky diamond in the rough. Have you ever thought about becoming a model? Mola, Told you, underwear model. We could team up, be a card slinging, catwalk strutting duo. You and me taking over the world. What do you say? No. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> we'll be kicking it here for a bit if you change your mind. After all, okay. why male model? There hasn't been enough Barrett. In this stream. Tour coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Okay. We hope you enjoy your time. Right Is there any what are you looking at? Aerith go fast. <laughs> Easy now. I didn't mean it like that. No need to be so on edge. Name's Mahir, though some call me the child of the sun. I'm trained to be a boxer. I've not been feeling it lately, so I'm trying other ways to motivate myself. Like Queen's blood. I don't suppose you're up for a game? Chad, I'm assuming we're getting very, very close to being, you know, finished with Queen's blood. Not that I want it to be over, necessarily, because I, I really love this. Oh, okay, we're on the very last set. This is maybe one of the best mini games I've, I've played in another game. So I'm not really saying I want it to be over. I mean, in a game with like 30 mini games, it's like 20. This has been the one that's felt most like its own full game. Oh, you, you bastard. Got me good. We are experiencing some difficulties here. Dude is playing extremely aggressive. Not much I can do. I can do that. It's just gonna get 
Yeah, it's gonna get fucked. Alright. Never mind then. Do it. Wow. If only I could get that top one with um, the rat. Secret minion. Is Heat Seeker minion any good? Well, let's find out. I don't remember. That was an incredibly strong opening from this dude. A woman's afraid of the size of her opening! <laughs> I must be predictable enough that someone knew I was going to say that, right? There's hope. There is hope. Okay, what would be good for this here? Oh. No! Fuck. Out jorked again. all them out, then play all your replacement cards for big points. Yeah. 
I wouldn't recommend rushing your Zor Zorlum out in public, though. Use Arch Dragon if you have it. I don't know if I do have it. These things take time. You 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 shouldn't you shouldn't rush your dragon out. Unless you're a trained professional. It's a risky maneuver, but that would be fantastic if I could make that happen. I think I would rather attempt to get all of these. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this helps at all. Yeah. such an intense game. It was hotter than the sun! Enough to light a fire in my soul, even. I think I'm finally out of my funk. And now, I can get back to boxing. Thank you. Oh. oh. No better cure for the munch. We sincerely look forward to seeing you again All right, soon. chat. We don't have very much cards left, but I'm gonna stop here. So, I, yeah, again, I know no story ha was happening here, but I enjoyed some cards and uh, Bahamut acquisition. But, yeah, we're going to hit the end of this card quest. Maybe I'll do one T for quest, and then we'll, we'll go to the Gold Saucer. I think that'll be the plan for, um, for next week. Can you do it? And can you do it? You can't run from Odin forever. And I won't. Strike Darken! Again, the voice I'm doing is literally the J-Squad guys from Nathan For You. Watch the episode where... It's, it's the episode where... Um, Nathan... Meets the guys that, that say they're J-Squad and that they have sex while they're they're in the room with each other like yeah I fuck with my brother in the room he don't watch no really you should watch the show nathan for you anyway but this is a real episode he me he like met the weirdest fucking people doing that show i think it's a season one episode and i'm pretty sure What the hell is this? 
terrible pizza. Why are you showing me this pizza? Ugh. Nathan for you, J Squad. Squad. George. Shout out to Jenny Squad. Shout out to that J Squad. <laughs> that's the straight talking voice. I think I've seen this. Yeah, I've seen this clip. This isn't one from my stream, but uh, this is something I saw posted online. <laughs> Aerith the Hedgehog. All right, good night, chat. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope uh, everybody sleeps well, has a great day, continues to be successful and happy in this bitch of a life when it is a bitch of a life. Sometimes it's all right, but I appreciate you spending that time on this planet here at the stream, and hopefully we can continue enjoying said streams. So thanks for the continued support and help and just uh, enjoyment of the things that I do. Hopefully uh, Sunday I will be live. I will be live Sunday, actually. Yes, definitely. I won't be live tomorrow or Saturday. I may record some side quests in Final Fantasy if I'm feeling spicy. I don't know if I'm going to be feeling like that, but maybe. If anything, though, um, next week we'll continue. RimWorld and Final Fantasy will just keep going, and uh, probably RimWorld will end next week, is what I would imagine. All right. Good night. Bye.